Hello, welcome back to the channel. And if you saw my video last week, you'll know that I'm moving from uh, British Gas to Octopus at the beginning of April. And you'll also see from that video where I compared the Flux tariff to the Go tariff to the Standard tariff, I'm likely to be moving on to Flux. And with Flux, you get three hours uh, in the middle of the night from 1am to 4am, where um, the price for import is 17.2p. But for the rest of the day, the minimum export price they pay you is 17.7p. So it means it's going to be, for me, I'm going to be better off making sure that I charge my battery every night up to full. And then if I have any excess solar during the day, just export it. And then just save that battery until um, four in the afternoon till seven in the afternoon when suddenly the price is 40p for import. So this means I've needed to get control of my Solus Inverter. So when you get your Solus Inverter installed, you only get monitoring access through the app, through the Solus Cloud app or through the website. And then you have to request if you want to be able to set the charging time. So that's what I've done. So the way that I did it is I went on the Solus website. I went on service and support. I went to the service center and then I went to submit ticket. And then I had to go through this form where I just select the type. So it's like PV inverter. Um, I had to, I didn't put my product number in because I couldn't see it there. Um, I choose my country, choose my ticket type. And then I just wrote a brief message saying, um, I'm moving on to a time of day tariff and I would like control of my inverter to set the time for charge and discharge. So I sent that on about eight o'clock in the evening and by the next morning they'd emailed me with a verification link which gave me access to the um, inverter control. So what this has meant is that I can now go on my Solace app, uh, go into the device, go click on the inverter click on these three dots in the corner and I've now got a new option in the drop down menu. Before there was just remove inverter and operational logs but now I can go to control inverter. They give you some agreement that you have to agree to which basically says it's um, your fault if you mess it up if you're playing with these settings. You click OK and then you enter a password. I think when I did the verification link I had to put in the password there but I've just made it the same as my usual account password. So if I go there, what this screen then takes me to is this new screen which I haven't seen, which um, well, I have seen obviously now, but hadn't, hadn't had access before. So in this you've got things like your battery settings where you can change what type of battery you have. Annoyingly, you have to click this read value for it to make sure everything is filled in. Um, I did have a play around with this discharge SO and the for, uh, force charge and someone managed to get my battery to fully charge in about an hour and a half during the middle of the day and then only discharge to about 10%. So I wouldn't recommend playing around with that too much. Um, I should say I don't really know what I'm doing yet. A lot of this is experimentation. So if you're getting advice, uh, please comment it below. What I did find useful was the time settings because my time on my inverter has always been about five minutes out. And what I did is I just clicked this um, button at the bottom to follow phone and then that updated my inverter to the same as my phone time, which is correct. So that's been a bit of an improvement. Um, anyway, what I'm going to be looking at is this uh, mo uh, mode work or work mode. If I go in here, um, you've got this menu of uh, three different um, options, including self-use mode, feed-in priority, which I think is about how you charge your battery. Um, if you're charging at certain times, I think it's how you do your agile stuff. I'm not entirely sure. You watch off-grid mode, which speaks to yourself, but I'm in the self-use uh, mode. At the top, you've got this little question mark, which tells you um, some FAQs, which basically tells you what each of these menu options are. They're not particularly detailed, but what I think I need to do is turn on the time of use switch and allow grid charging. I've also played around with the set reserve and the uh, SOC here. This is when I was playing around with the battery settings and managed to get it to charge in the middle of the day for um, from about 10% up to 100%. It was a cloudy day, so it didn't actually cost me anything extra. But 
at least from that I've worked out that it's going to take about an hour and a half to charge my battery from 10% to 100% which means that every night I probably only need to set the battery to charge for an hour and a half. So from Octopus Tariff, I probably only need to go from half two in the morning till four in the morning, and then my battery will be fully charged by four. All right, so what I think I need to do is if I go into self-charge um, mode, I can leave that on. I need to go into the time switch, which allows you to enable um, the charging and discharge time. And I'm assuming I'm going to need to allow grid charging as well. I'm not sure about that, but I'm pretty sure that would make sense. It's really confusing otherwise. What I've then noticed is I have to go back out to here and then go back to the three dots, go back to my uh, password, refill that in, re-agree. And then if I go into work mode and self-use mode, Ah, that hasn't worked this time. Uh, what I have found, oh, that's because it hasn't actually saved what my changes were. So I'm going to save that as enabled. So now everything is enabled. And if I go back, is it going to be there? Yeah, so now I've got this charge and discharge option. And in here, it seems to be able to set the time of use charge current which is how quickly it charges i think and the discharge so i can set this between 50 and 100 amps i'm not interested in force discharging my battery from the uh, due in the day um i'll probably only do look at that in the summer when we actually gain quite a lot of sun uh in the late evening so i can actually export to that at a slightly higher rate of 29p but then what it looks like i can do is go in here change the charge time so i can change what time it's going to charge so i would be charging as i say from 2 30 in the morning to I'm going to set it to 3.59 to make sure I don't get any import. Um, I'm not interested in discharge, so I'm going to set that to 0.0. zero um, so to make sure it doesn't discharge at all. Um, I think that's how you do that. Again, comment if, you've, if I'm making any mistakes on this. And then it's going to be all set up for me to charge later on. Obviously, I'm still on British Gas at the moment, so I'm going to save that. But then I'm going to go back into this, turn off my, or disable the allow grid charge and to take the settings back to where they were. Enable discharge, maybe I have to disable that first. And then I hopefully have it, but um, I'll find out for that when I actually move on to Flux. Uh, or I might just try it with a, um, when it's a very cloudy series of days, so I know I'm not going to get any uh, sunshine on a certain day, and then test it then. Anyway, so I think that's how I'm going to set my um, sit this inverter up. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do, and I'll see you in another video very soon.